Hello, I'm Laura Leopardi, the reigning Ms. Arizona, United States 2011. I started pageantry in 2009 with the Ms. Corporate America pageant in Orlando, Florida, and then competed in Ms. America, and then competed in the Queen of Hope uh, charity pageant in Phoenix, and now the Ms. Arizona pageant. Uh, I actually won third runner-up in Ms. Corporate America, I won the Community Service Award in Ms. America, and I was reigned the Worldwide Ambassador um, with the Queen of Hope in Phoenix, Arizona. So this Arizona United States pageant is quite a family. It's been a lot of fun and our focus is on philanthropy and charity work. I wore a navy blue Armani suit and I felt very comfortable in a designer suit, but I also thought that it was very professional and polished, made me feel good, and I think when you feel good on the inside, you project the best outward in the interview process. I selected a coral bikini because even though I'm in the Ms. division, I work very hard and I felt like I was fit enough to walk out in a bikini with the matching sarong. I love coral. I think it's the grown-up fuchsia. And I uh, embellished it with silver embellishments for nationals so that it would show up really good on the Orleans stage in Las Vegas. And I selected coral because I think it looks good on tan skin and with brunette hair. I selected a black and silver Tony Bowles evening gown. It made me feel fabulous. I love the high slit to show off my legs. And I had a lot of crystals on the cummerbund, which really showcase and have a good stage presence at nationals and the competition in Vegas at the Orleans Hotel. I liked the sweetheart neckline, but I also liked the flare that the top had that was black. Definitely beauty sleep. I've, I've learned that the hard way. You definitely look much better when you have six to eight hours sleep or eight to nine hours sleep. Uh, going on two to four hours sleep just doesn't cut it in the pageant world. You've got to be beautiful inside and out. You can't be tired and always have a beautiful smile on your face. Definitely be yourself. I think when you are honest with your feelings and what you want to pursue in your charity work and your endeavors and your school and academics, I think just be yourself and be honest and when you um, are honest with yourself and you really learn about what you really want to do and you know yourself as a person that comes through and you're the best delegate and you're going to win. You're going to do really well. Did you know that there are some really common mistakes that girls make during the evening gown portion of their competition? Click on the link in the description below and you'll be taken to our website for a free 30 minute long training course. By the end of it, you'll learn how to avoid these common mistakes and master the evening gown portion of your competition today.